Hey, how's it going guys? I just went through my SD cards because I'm preparing for a game tomorrow and I found missing and lost footage. It's me in Chet's garage. Uh, that's three months ago when I was visiting him in America and you know, Chet gets all his stuff for free so he has this huge gun collection and in this video I just go through it. Now again, it's three months ago so it's not super recent but I thought you guys will enjoy it anyways. So Chet's gonna show us his as I say, insane airsoft collection. Because as I mentioned before, Jack gets the stuff for free. So if a gun stops working, I've seen it doing it's like fuck this gun. Send me a new one. And then it just like the broken one just it ends falls up here. from the skies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got an immediate airdrop. So how many guns of those are working? I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know. I know that there's a rack over there that's got a couple guns that yeah. that don't work. Most of these should work. There's one gun on the wall though that is retired and I refuse to use it ever again oh, yeah. in a gameplay. It's this one right there. It's this KWC or KW something Uzi. Oh my goodness. That is the worst. It's so fun to shoot. It is so fun to shoot yeah. because there's so much kick. Take so the mag out and then just and then yeah. pull the trigger. With mag releases here. I've never seen that before. It's kind of smart actually. You like grab, just pull. Pull the trigger and feel the bolt go forward. <laughs> yeah, like the recoil spring is. It's yeah, so hard. imagine it's like when it's one. kicking like that. It's yeah. fun, but okay. it's really, really, really unreliable. It's in a yeah. video, I took it to a Milsim game, and it just fails me so much. <laughs> okay. I remember this gun. I played with this gun in... Wow, that's like historical. Which one? This one? <laughs> this one oh, yeah. yeah. This, this one started as a G and G SL25. Which and he didn't like it. He did not yeah. like it whatsoever. Like, G and G fixed all the issues from what I know, but when I received this gun, it was like, the G and G magazines didn't fit in the G and G gun. The fuse, like, burns through with is 11 point volt LiPo, which it's not their fault because it's designed for 7, uh, 7 7.4. I got this gun, it didn't shoot accurate, it was a mess. Mm -hmm. Then we brought it to Umbrella yeah. and they made it, it, it was shooting pretty well actually. And like you're using it in a lot of videos, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it shoots real good. Yeah. Let's show some footage here of how I shot it. As you can see, it's very accurate. It needed some work to make it, yes. make it good. And I gave it a very nice, unique paint yeah. job. Woodland chocolate chip pattern. That exists? That real thing? Or you made that up? No, I made it. I just thought about it. <laughs> okay. Which guns do you have that have like a fun story? The most fun story is is this gun. And you can already see which one I'm looking. I'm grabbing. Yeah, America. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun day of playing airsoft. Which brand is it? It's a G&G &G combat machine. Oh yeah, there we go. It's one of the white ones. Merry <laughs> You have the helmet to do over here, right? Oh yeah, yeah, the helmet's yeah. up there. Yeah, that's what has this the most American operator ever. You're not a prisoner of America. <laughs> hey, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Do you even use this gun? I think you used the Freedom Grenade Launcher, right? Yeah, don't I don't know. Uh, oh, it's over there in some other pile. Uh, Chad owns so many freaking guns, he doesn't even know where they are. Yeah, if you like dig in there, you're gonna find tons of other cool yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's guns back over there. Yeah. There's, I don't know, this is like one, two, three, four, five. But these rows is just five guns. Do, right. do the mess yourself. It's a ton of guns. Do you have like another gun where you see that's like a really special one? It's, has like a good story to it. I do. This one's really special to Leah. It's tucked away, but man, this is this is her first custom gun built by Thunderkiss Northwest. Yeah. This is probably the coolest, one of the coolest guns. This thing is hilarious when she shows up to games yeah. I and mean, everyone goes, oh, what a cute pink gun. Yeah. Uh, I should probably put a battery in this so you could yeah. hear like how well this shoots. I like the like the blood stains yeah. in here. It looks yeah. really badass <laughs> for a pink gun. So Leah's the owner, so let's let her talk about it. Leah? Yeah. Can you talk about your gun a little bit? Hi, about my gun? Yeah, like the pistol. The oh, yeah. <laughs> Bill it to what makes it so special for you? It was custom built by Thunderkiss Northwest and they built it completely from scratch. They have a video that talks about everything that's in it. So they built it 
completely from the ground up just for me. They do all kinds of custom builds. So it must be like a $2,000 gun, probably? Uh, it's definitely close to the 1000 range. Yeah. I know that for sure. Every part in it was custom ordered and custom built. Can we hear the trigger response? Yeah. Quick? Yeah. <laughs> no iPro. Watch out, watch out. Oh no. There's nothing in it. I've tested it. So that's on semi and then on full. You can no, see it's it pretty shaking. Fast. How old is it? About four years old. I've never seen a four-year-old Aichi. Usually they're yes, just in the yeah, trash somewhere. Like yeah, it, has, it never died. And I've not done any maintenance on it either. So mm -hmm. that's nice. I know this one. This is a KWA one, right? Yeah, super rare. Chris Vector. Those are insanely rare. You, you barely see them. People keep them like in bags and soaked in silicone oil. So mm -hmm. they, because they, they raise in value. I have not played with it in a really yeah. long time. Especially no. since the AEG one came out. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they ever make this again? No, they're definitely not. I don't, I don't think they're ever going to make this one again. Yeah, too bad. What makes it very special is how it handles the recoil because the bolt goes like down into this big chunk right here and you can barely feel any recoil on the real steel one. So that's what makes it very unique as the real steel one and also the airsoft one is built very similar with the bolt like going down. This gun is very near and dear to my heart. This is my Elite Force 4 CRL. Like the second gun that Elite Force ever sent me. I changed out the rail. It doesn't come with this rail. There is a, do you remember the mirror? Uh, what is it called? The Miracle Barrel? Do you yeah, remember that? Yeah. yeah. This was one oh, of the first Oh, you've done one shot, right? Yeah, it's like 200 plus feet from like a mountainside though. Yeah. But like at the time, no one was shooting that far. Yeah. This is that gun that made one of the longest AEG hits like, <laughs> years ago though. I like the name Miracle Barrel. And of course, last but not least, the SSG24 right over there. Yeah. So this, tell us how much you love this gun. I actually have been enjoying this gun. I used it for the first time at bat, uh, evic.com Bad Blood. Yeah, I've seen this on that. So when I first used it, like any gun, like yeah. I just miss like crazy. Just like, okay, the crosshair is on the guy, fire, it's gonna hit him, and then the BB goes, <laughs> Oh, like, really? What? How? <laughs> After maybe about like an hour or so, that's yeah. when that's when everyone started getting. Uh, yeah. When it broke in. Uh, yeah, yeah. some time to break. Yeah, it needs time to break in and, and just like time to like figure out the distance. Mm. So the next game, the Milson West game, I put point four sixes in it. What did you use before? I think I was using the four O's. The four six I've, I've found is yeah. the best weight for this gun, yeah. or at least mine, because at that one I was making headshots through like portholes like this big. Like it was pretty amazing. So mm. good job, man. <laughs> Thank you. I actually, because of the airspun, <laughs> I figured that you like taped over here for the paint job. Uh -huh. So I actually peeled off the table and was like, oh yeah, there we go, that's the plug. Oh, it was still there? <laughs> yeah, it was still oh, there. Oh, okay, I didn't even know. I was like, why are you peeling right. I like it that it's not one of those paint jobs where they try to make like some camouflage pad and you just took it and... Yeah. You even covered the bolt in paint. <laughs> what was the shiniest part? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, there we go. Chet's arsenal. Um, it's not just the gun that are so crazy in the when it comes to the amount. Like, you have tons of gun bags, play carriers, all kind of shit. Like, you are basically a shop that has everything once. And you can buy it. And most of the stuff is broken. <laughs> but yeah, very cool collection. All right, guys, that was Chad's Garage. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see the vlog where I'm traveling over to the US for AirsoftCon at EVIC, you can check out the link in the description. That's it for this week's video. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.